Hey, truck guys, this video is for you. So I was at home and I was thinking, what should I make? What should I talk about? And I've had a number of folks who are interested in making automotive money, specifically with arbitrage, say like, I would love to do this, but I don't know how to get started. Or I only have a thousand bucks to get started. How do I do what you're doing with these incredible trucks? Like the big diesels, the LBZ, the Raptor, the whatever, like the dream trucks, the aspirational trucks. How do I start from where I am with like a thousand bucks maybe? And so I was thinking, okay, what's the best way to kind of share this and show this? Cause I started from the bottom as well. My first vehicle was $800. It was a car, not a truck, but still same exact thing. And so like I've lived this through the years, but I only recently started this YouTube journey. So I was thinking, how do I showcase and illustrate in the most concise way possible how to do this, how to start from basically ground zero, thousand bucks to your name and get all the way to maybe $50,000 and what that would look like. And luckily I have exactly what that would look like <laughs> here behind me. <laughs> so I have my whole fleet of trucks right here. And what's, what's pretty perfect about this is that we're starting off with the range, Ford Ranger, $1,100. We move up, 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 up. All the way to a 2015 Silverado. Now this isn't a $50,000 truck, but there is enough margin in all of these things to get you there. So here are the fleet of trucks, and I'm just gonna go down the line saying what my estimated numbers are, because obviously I still own them. I can tell you the purchase price, I can tell you what the repair cost is, but I can't tell you the sale price yet, because, well, they haven't sold. Um, but I can do a follow-up and addendum to this video, just cutting in between and saying like, this is what it actually sold for, this is what it actually sold for, this is what it actually sold for, and show you how to start with a thousand bucks in a Ford Ranger and progress all the way over here and even in kind of no man's land, no man's territory where we'd throw like my old Raptor or uh, LMM Duramax or something super cool, super sweet. Anyway, we'll go to the range. All right, check this out. So we are starting off with the Ford Ranger. This thing was $1,100 uh, and it was a lot rougher when I got it visually. Uh, there were only a couple things I did to it and they were pretty much purely cosmetic. I put this new front plastic uh, bumper valence on. I painted the rims and got some new tires, some new used tires. Uh, and then detailed the body so the paint is in pretty good shape. It's not clay barred, you can hear it. But um, cleaned it. The interior is pretty clean as well. So pretty low cost. Um, after transferring the title and doing everything, paying the shop to put on the tires, doing the wheels myself, I think I have about $1,500 in this. It's a four x four Ford Ranger with the four liter six cylinder and uh, XLT, so it's extended cab. Theoretically, you could seat five in this thing, which is nuts. Um, anyway, I have about 1,500 in this and expect it to go for about four grand, which is nuts. Even let's say conservatively, it goes for 3,500. You just made 2,000 and you can step your way up to this. Now you may be saying, why is there no hood? It is a clean title truck. It's nice, uh, it had a black hood when I got it. So it's at the paint shop getting painted right now, but I just wanted to make this video for you while I had all the trucks here. Anyway, it is a 2003, if I recall correctly, it's either 2002, 2003, 2004. Uh, Ram 1500, and this is a pretty sweet truck. It only has 137,000 miles, uh, and it's got the leather interior, which is super nice. I got this thing for $2,300. It's four by four as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy deal on it. Now, the reason I got it cheap is because it looked rough, and the hood was black. The, uh, the, bed on the back was kind of gross so i got flares but i really haven't had to do anything to this other than detailing the interior putting on fender flares that cost about a hundred bucks and i estimate most of the hood to paint will be a couple hundred and then the title transfer on that so i have maybe 20 high twos in this thing bought it for 23 tax flares hood paint um i don't think really anything else let's say three conservatively. And I'm gonna say it'll sell for six, but let's say five to be ultra conservative on that number as well. So now we're at 5K. 
there's two grand margin in this. With that five, we can buy this thing. I got a Cummins, a second gen Cummins with this big beefy brush guard for $3,500. Now it came on some different wheels. So I bought these Moto Metals. They are 20s, came with the tires for $419 to be exact. Uh, I'm going to be doing some other stuff to it, hopefully getting some new doors, uh, cleaning it up. I gave the interior a detail. This thing has a lot of miles, 270,000, but it's incredibly clean. No rips in the seat. You saw that it formerly had one. If you watch the detailing video, there's me. Hi. Uh, we have a crack in the windshield and then no cracks in the dash, which is nuts on this truck. Anyway, this is a pretty sweet truck. I expect it to go in this area being a 4x4 Cummins with absolutely no blow-by, despite having high miles, being a pretty slick truck, no rust on the bed. Uh, I expect it to go for maybe 7. So now we're at 7K on this thing. Um, and we're gonna have to skip this for now, but we can move to this. It's an 08 GMC Sierra 2500, so it's not a 15 like the uh, the Ram. I guess the Ranger isn't a 1500 either, but 2500, 2500 here. This thing has incredibly low mileage. It's only at 64 or 62,000 miles. Uh, it's got the 60 in there, and it is a base work truck. We have rubber floors and everything. Anyway, I picked this thing up for $6,500, has aftermarket wheels, aftermarket exhaust on it, um, and it is a pretty sweet truck. Now I took it to a welding shop to get fixed up, uh, to get some parts reinforced and fixed, so I have some more in it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have about 10K in it, but worst case, you swipe the card in order to do that. We're also missing one of the trucks, and you could have a lot more in that cheap budget range as well but we have enough from this to purchase this. Uh, and then you could swipe the card, get it fixed. I have about 10,000 in it, and I have a dealer already sight unseen offering 15 because it's such low mileage, but I've seen comps on the market going for 20, which is crazy, absolutely crazy, to go from 10 to 20 and make 10 grand on a truck. Anyway, we're gonna go with a dealer estimate, uh, and I'll throw a screenshot of the text on the screen right now saying, where it is, we have $15,000 to play with now. So we can go with pretty much any of these. We'll go with the Cummins here. I got this thing for 9,200 bucks. It is a 2008 Cummins with the big six, seven. Uh, it's tuned, deleted, lifted five inches. I put these wheels on it. I bought this thing for 9,200 bucks. I have about another thousand in the wheels, but I could probably sell the old wheels and recoup some of that investment there. And this is a super solid truck. I drove it like four or five hours home from Ohio. And so mechanically, it is sound as can be. And this thing, I'll have about 10 in once you sell the old wheels. And I think it'll sell again for around that 20K mark. So we just made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on this thing. Same with this truck. We can move over here to the 2013 Chevy Silverado. Uh, I got this from a dealership actually, which is pretty crazy. And it is fully loaded. It's got the big 6.2 in here. It has heated, cooled leather seats, which is amazing. And I've had to put some money into mechanical fixes on this and then also have to address some of the cosmetics, namely this and this. And I mean, it's a work in progress as is the green truck, as are basically all of these. Uh, anyway, bought this thing for $8,300 with 126, if I recall correctly, thousand miles. Had to get new brakes and tires, so got those put on. Have to do some paint work, painting the bumper, getting a new fender, install the fender flares, doing some stuff to it. I expect to be around the $10,000, let's say maybe $11,000 mark. And these are going for $20,000 as well. But we could say maybe we have 12 in it and conservatively, like ultra conservatively, I could sell it that day for 17. So there's another 5K in that. And then finally, we're gonna move to the newest truck, the 2015. We have a 2015 Chevy Silverado, got the 5.3 in it, four by four as well, a little bit squatted in the rear and 136,000 miles. This thing is pretty sweet. I got it for 15.5. And I had that dealership when I was seeing, do I want to buy this truck? Uh, I had the dealership say that they would possibly give 21.5 for it. Pretty confidently, sight unseen, give 20,000 for it. 
So there's definitely margin. I have to get new brakes and tires. Those are in the bed. Uh, it's actually going to the shop shortly after we record this video, but same thing. We have somewhere in the mid teens, maybe $17,000 total after everything's all said and done the shop takes care of all the work does everything to this truck and then we could sell it for very conservatively 20 which is amazing so again we started with the ranger for a thousand bucks 1100 to be exact we moved up we've learned the game we've mastered the game we know what to look for how to buy strategically and now we have made enough profit through all of these trucks to buy pretty much anything in the 30, 40, maybe even $50,000 range once everything is all said and done, which is amazing. So I just had to show you, since I have all the trucks uh, right now, I think the Ranger's actually going out today. That's going to the shop. It's rare that all of these are here at the exact same time. So I wanted to give you a very visual representation of your blueprint to success with making money with trucks or cars or anything. Same holds true for sports cars or motorcycles, but right now I have a ton of trucks. So that's what I can show you. Anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, drop a comment down below, tell me what you thought, subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up to date uh, and check out all of the builds. I mean, I've been documenting all of these things on the channel so you can watch the buying vlog, the mechanical fixes, the cosmetic fixes, the maybe ripping around, doing some donuts, burnouts, having fun with them videos, and then the uh, sale deal breakdown analysis. And final thing, if you didn't know, I have a program that's linked down below that teaches you everything that you need to know, what to look for, how to find these incredible deals, how to negotiate like a pro, and everything that I've learned throughout the years of doing this that have allowed me to get all of these trucks owned outright with my own cash, titles in hand, in my name, on my property, which is pretty sweet, uh, by 22. I'm 22 right now, which is pretty nuts. Anyway, not to flex, just to say like, this is possible if you learn the key insights and strategies that you need to know to make it happen. So with that in mind, I will see you on the next one. Peace.